Good morning, I'm Jim Walsh with your Town Square Media News Update, sponsored by America's Home Loans. Looking to purchase or refinance? Call America's Home Loans at 222-0100. Acting U.S. Attorney Chris Myers of North Dakota says he's no longer interested in staying on as the state's top federal prosecutor. Mr. Myers tells the state's congressional delegation in a letter he is increasingly concerned about how the selection process will affect the U.S. Attorney's Office. Former U.S. Attorney Drew Wrigley has expressed interest in returning to the post he held from 2001 to 2009. Four more Jamaicans charged in the U.S. in what authorities say is a multi-million dollar lottery scam have pleaded not guilty in federal court in Bismarck. No immediate trial date was set Tuesday for the four. They were among the eight suspects extradited from Jamaica to North Dakota last week to face charges in what authorities say is a scam that has bilked at least 90 mostly elderly Americans out of more than five and a half million dollars. A Minnesota man who pleaded guilty to a federal hate crime for firebombing a Somali restaurant in North Dakota is fighting the amount of money he has been told to repay. Matthew Gust has filed a motion asking for help in appealing the quarter-million-dollar restitution order for the fire at the Juba Coffee House in Grand Forks. He says he has no money or property. The state-owned Bank of North Dakota has seen another year of record profits. The Tribune reports that the profits for the country's only state-owned bank totaled $136 million for the year 2016. Some of that money may go help balance the state's budget. Partly cloudy and 64 today, clearing and 37 tonight, sunny and 71 for tomorrow. That's your Town Square Media News Update.